Good morning. Hi, how you doing? It's Jim. It's Tuesday. Um, I am still going to be carrying on with sci-fi, uh, but something else has just popped up today, and I really want to do this because it's Devin Townsend. He's got a new song out, and it's called Call of the Void. Um, it's been uh, uploaded onto YouTube literally in the last few hours, so very, very new. And I've wanted to do a new Devon Town. I knew this stuff was coming. Uh, he had a record, record, it wasn't a record at the time, it's a, uh, a download, I guess, um, came out about a month ago, a few weeks ago. Um, Moon People. Now, that was kind of a point where I couldn't really sort of give any attention to listening to stuff, uh, or certainly making videos. So I've heard it, but I wasn't able to do a video about it. Uh, he has the new album, Lightwork, coming out very soon in October. Uh, so this is from that. And this is going to be the first time I've heard this. So it'll be ah, exciting. Exciting. Uh, there is nothing to look at. It is just a uh, piece of artwork. Um, so let's go. Three, two, one. Bosh. Sounding very, very commercial. This follows on from Moon People perfectly. It's kind of in the exactly the same sort of vibe.
That's a great lyric. Don't freak out. That's the message here. That's it. That's it. Call of the Void. Now, I said right at the beginning, one of the first things I said, it sounded very commercial. I didn't mean that in a, in a derogatory way at all. It sounds like this is smooth for the radio, if you know what I mean. Now, this could easily be played on almost anything. There is nothing to offend the ear of the, of the delicate listener, uh, of which there are many. And uh, I think, why not? Could this be a breakthrough track for him? Um, it's 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 a very very straightforward sort of song, um, and I know a lot of his tracks kind of are, but uh, the secret ingredient is Devin. It's his. It's his voice. It's the way he plays the guitar. It's the wall of sound. It's the lyrics. And it's the uh, expression of him, the expression of Devin through his music, which is what makes it so appealing. And um, I kind of he's saying stuff in here which is kind of not earth shatteringly sort of new, but it's still worth saying and people sort of just stopping and thinking about that uh, you want someone to have the same point of view of the world as you do, but that's never going to happen because everyone's come to this point in time in life. From different directions so everyone's going to have a completely different point of view and just don't freak out you know it's uh, accept people for who they are um and it's it's uh yeah it's 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 a uh, it's I, I need to listen to it again and it's literally just a first listen through i haven't got lyrics in front of me i'm just listening to uh, uh hearing what i'm well, listening to what i hear sorry i should say and uh and uh giving it a quick for exactly a very very first listen um it's very polished it's very very polished um the guitars are as clean as you like i mean they're distorted obviously you've got some uh uh good nice bit of distortion on there but it's very 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 contained it's uh, really well controlled there's nothing sort of chaotic or or screaming, or um, or uh, or sort of, you know, um, it's just well crafted and 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 sonically good, sonically perfectly sort of positioned in the stereo field, and it just everything is sounding good. Um, now, I feel. I'm 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 guessing there's going to be other tracks on this album which may be slightly sort of 
bigger and go in different directions. But at the minute, the two tracks that we've heard, Moon People and this, Call of the Void, are very, not laid back, that's the wrong word, but very sort of um, take a step back from the, the chaos. It's it's controlled. I keep using the word controlled because it just, it just sounds very controlled, very polished, very fits in a box. There's no sort of angular sticky out bits anywhere. It's all, yes, very, very well um, curated. And uh, I wonder whether there'll be tracks on this album that are not quite so much like that. So, for example, on Empath, we had various tracks on there that were very, very small, beautiful, well-packaged, presented, sonically beautiful things. And then you had other ones which were ah, sort of like um, I did not see that coming so it literally was a representation of everything that Devin has ever done on one album sometimes in one song um, but uh, no really interesting uh, I, I I enjoyed that and I really want to hear it again so I'm gonna have to do that now um, I'll see you on the next video whenever and whatever that is just a little short one today I'll see you guys on the next video, whenever and whatever. I just said that, haven't I? Until then, <laughs> it's Jim over and...